cloth on the mantelpiece, this one, was given to us from a friend in Normandy. She bought um, an old house, a large old manor farm, and she gave me this. It's so pretty, hand done. Right, perfect, Peter. Yes, honey. I'm on camera. Oh, that's good. Yes. But I've got an emergency. Oh, cat's up a tree. No. Okay, who are you going to call? Um, something busters, but it's not ghost busters. Not dirt busters. Nope. Sewer busters. Don't nope. do any of that. No, no, no. It involves not roof busters. No, it involves creatures. Oh no, not frog busters. <laughs> <laughs> no. Have you got any silicon? Yes. Got some going now. What's it for, honey? To fill a hole. How big is the hole? Just about that big. It's Mouse? No, no. It's about an inch long, inch long. and about maybe a centimetre wide. Not even a centimetre. It's plugging? Yeah. Oh, this sounds serious. Ants. Oh, no, I hate ants. <laughs> There's loads. I've just hoovered loads. In our living room. Oh, no. Yeah. They haven't got an invite, have they? No. Right. <laughs> okay. We'll stop doing this, let me just stop this film. Okay, thank you. Here we are. Doesn't look like anything, but that's where they're coming up from underneath the tile. Yeah. I think it's holiday season, don't they? <laughs> this is going to be the wrong colour. I should have used clear, shouldn't I? But this is open. Well, there's something strange <laughs> in, your, in your salon, dear. <laughs> Who are you going to call? Miss Anna? Well, no. <clears throat> it's perfect, Peter. I expect they're going to pop up somewhere else now. That's all right. They'll just look at mark all the holes, won't they? So we'll know where to fill. <laughs> We need to get this dirty, don't we? So it all yeah, so it blends in. It blends in. <laughs> right, not dirty, grout colour. And then when I get some grouting done in the summer, we'll, we'll do it properly. Okay. Well, there's one ant trying to find his way back there. Right, now Peter's going to test the pump in the water, so he's, well in the lake, so he's going to go and get the waders on. Have you ever watched National Lampoon Vacation? Yes, I love National Lampoon. And I wonder if our followers like, oh my God. So did you hear that? No. Exactly. Perfect silence. Let me show you how the remote works. <laughs> Okay, uh, turn the channel on here, and if you look along here, that's where the programs are located. Just like that. <laughs> What's the name of that? What's it called? That's your lampoon vacation. No, 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 it's, no, that's, it's not, it's, um, was it Vive Le Vacance or something? On oh, the French version. Um, no, that's what it's called, isn't it? The latest one. It's the latest one, anyway. Yeah, it's the None new of the one. offshoots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I've got to get in the lake. <laughs> yeah. I can't look at him in the same way now. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Say again.
Brambles is helping to trim the laurel. Look. He's been watching me. <laughs> and he can't use his paws, so he's using his teeth. <laughs> can't be good for him. That stuff is not good, is it? No, it's poisonous. Come on, Brambles. <laughs> Oh, he's off in. Like there, it's I haven't got it. We're supposed to be going out. And just as we're locking the door, Charlie has run into the car. Do you want to come with us, Charlie? <laughs> have you got a licence, first and foremost? <laughs> so, if you've not oh, got a licence, you're going to need to come out. He says, no, I'm staying here. Oh, come I know he's coming. Oh, good boy, good boy, you poor thing. That makes me feel terrible. Come on, we'll take you out tomorrow. We won't be long. Won't be long, Charlie. Are you going to a bingo night? <laughs> <laughs> look how smart you look. And you look smart. Come on, come on then. Come on. <laughs> Renard Roux. Renard Roux. Renard Roux. Renard Roux. Peter's got a burger. Vegetarian burger. Vegetarian because they didn't do a meat one. And I've got fish. <laughs> Looks lovely, doesn't it? Yeah. Are they onion rings? Yes. Oh, he's got massive onion rings as well. I don't know if the camera picks that up, but the sky has a yellow haze to it. Not a sun haze, a sand haze. So I think our weather's coming from the Sahara with a, an added touch of sand because everything's covered in sand. Look at the car. Looks like it's going to stay a sandy sky for most of the day. Right, we're herding the geese back home. We've gone to the farmer's next door. I'll come under there with you. Go on. <laughs> Off you go home. Come on, home. Home. That's it. You're not going that way. You're going home. Good boys and girls. Well, I can see where I think they've got to do over there. So Miss Anna is starting a lesson on reversing the trailer. Yeah, I'm no good at doing things like this. But the one problem with being a munchkin is the mirror doesn't go in this car doesn't go low enough, so I have to. to lean oh, you up. want a booster cushion? You want a child booster seat? Do you need me to give you directions, or do you just want to feel for it? Just, just let me yeah. Have a play. Okay. Hey, uh, yeah, you've got a controller your side, honey. She goes nice and slowly, that's great. Well, that's actually very good. Very impressive for the first time ever. I'm very, very, very impressed. Brilliant. Well, 
that was very, very impressive. <laughs> it was for for first attempt because it's all counterintuitive, isn't it? Yeah. That's brilliant, sweetheart. Thank you. Did you want to drive to the dump? It's because it's because I've been watching you, isn't it? Well, yeah, and you you're a good driver too. <laughs> so do you want to drive to the dump? No, thank you. You sure? Okay. Okay, that was very well reversed, Miss Anna. Thank you. Very impressive uh, reversing skills for the first time ever. I learnt from the experts. Well, that's kind. I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going up the Dechettery, which is dip. French for dip. Some people have been asking about it, haven't they? Yeah, some people want to see the dip runs. We've done a few. We're not on first name terms with the tip operators, but they are on our Christmas card list now, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a funny old community, actually, because th they help us, which is, you know, not that surprising. But last time we, had, we went, we had a hell of a job. Not help us, because it's not the same as, I don't know what the American one's like, but in Britain, when you go to the tip, you just take all your stuff and put it in the, the right skip, but in France, they're really strict. Yes. Some uh, tips, you've got to have a path to get in to prove that you're from that, the right commune to use that tip. But they, if you get anything wrong, they get really upset. So if you put a piece of plastic by accident in a cardboard bin, they'll get really cross and they'll, you, you've got to go and take it out, or they'll take yes. it out because it's too deep. Yes. And put you on the poster. <laughs> These are people who do not respect the rules. <laughs> so, uh, and last time we went, there was a chap there that was just there dumping his own stuff, and he decides to give us a hand. And it wasn't like it was easy stuff; it was like shoveling stuff out the back of our truck. Horrible work. But, but he had ulterior motives. Oh, did he want to take yeah. you out for dinner? No, he was oh. looking to see. What he was would have throwing. smelt. No, he was looking uh. to see what was thrown away to see wanted anything because remember he took something didn't he took something didn't he yes uh, i can't remember what it was yeah so they're hunting for things that they want hunting for gold so that's where we're going here we are at the tip Right, we've just got to take the rest of the stuff, paint pots and things, down to the bottom bins because they're not allowed up here. Now Peter's got to reverse out of here and it's, it's quite tight. tight. It's quite tight. Okay, the roller coaster, here we go, put your hands up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> in the water. <laughs> These are the items that we have to put in as well. So they've got a trolley there for the paint, paint pots. And up there, that's where we've just come from, the main tip. Over here, in these cages, is where we've got to put the electrical items. Right, so we've done the tip run. And now we're going to Argenton. Marche to have a look at tractor mowers. Our second home. Well, we've pretty much decided on what we want. This will be our third tractor mower, right? And we've learned <laughs> we've learned that we've bought second hand in the past. Two second hand two ones. Two second hand ones. And uh, you can get them working well, you can service the motors, you can do the deck repairs, welding repairs on the deck and new belts and all the other bits. But these machines are not meant to last long. They're made of Coke cans. They um, get quite an abusive life, um, you know, out in all weathers. They tend to get stored when they're still a little bit wet sometimes, so they rot quickly. The long and short of it is, we've never really had that reliability, have we, honey? No. Nope. Even if we've put a load of money in getting everything we know that we need to do sorted on them, something always pops up like a, a casting will fail in the gearbox or 
uh, and it's silly little things like a bearing will go or a tyre needs replacing and the tube has perished and it's just like oh god we need to mow the lawn but I've got to go out and get some more spares so we thought right had enough had en <laughs> you thought right had enough let's go let's buy another project um, you said right we're getting a new one uh, yeah yeah we have to just pause there because Peter was looking at some more second hand ones on Facebook and I, yeah, and I said no we're not doing that anymore we've got too <laughs> much time to do better things haven't we yeah by the time you bought you're on your fourth second hand lawnmower you could have bought a brand new one yeah <laughs> so we're going for a, a, a we want a twin cylinder so it's got loads of torque because we've got a couple of trailers which were left another another couple of things left behind so we've got a couple of trailers that we want to tow behind it so it needs to have a bit of oomph so and we've got quite a hilly yeah the trailers would be good when you're gardening so you can take your tools yeah, out and, and for trimming hedges putting them up all the bits of hedges and stuff in the trailer point. that's a good point rather than taking the car down so we want a twin cylinder that will cope with the the terrain they're generally a little bit quieter too a twin cylinder because they're not working as hard uh, vibrations are a lot less as well. Um, oh, I quite like vibrations. Um, Good vibrations. <laughs> Was that Beach Boys? Yeah. Yeah, I like I like surfy music. Do you? Um, I like I know I like some of the Beach Boys ones, like from the film Never Been Kissed. Um, the one they play in that film, I can't remember. Um, Beach baby, Beach no. baby, give me your hand. No, oh, no. no. Surfing is the only life, the only <laughs> life for me now. Surf, boom, 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 boom. I've never heard Surf, that boom, one. Boom, with ba, ba, boom, I, ba, I don't know ba, that one, I've ba, ba, never heard it. Oh. That's a good surfing yeah. track. I like surfing music. I like surfing music. Can you surf? Um, no. Have you no. tried it? Um, no. No, me neither. No. But we're not surfing, we're cutting turfing. <laughs> <laughs> and you turf, I can with my twin cylinder, right on track to more. So that's where we're going. Right, we're going to the Bricko. Off we go. The Bricko, the Bricko Marche, our second home. <laughs> oh, they've got green stuff, honey. They've got green stuff. Sounds really bad. It sounds like drugs. He means plants. Plants. Plants and flowers. Mm. Very important section here. All your fertilizers for your plants. Look at that. <laughs> oh no, they're. Um, these are fertilizers here. This side. That was all. Oh um, yeah, this is fertilizer. <laughs> All your different ones, and that's that's all your pesticides. But they're not really pesticides. They haven't got anything in them anymore. Yes, they've got pepper in them. <laughs> yeah. not, All the ants go around sneezing. Yeah, we're not allowed anything stronger than pepper in France anymore, are we? Mm. Some of them have a nasty smell. And the pets go. I don't like it. <laughs> oh, you wanted pots actually, didn't you? They haven't, they haven't got any here. I've looked last time we came in. Oh. Little ones, need little ones. That's the one we like, isn't it? That's the one that's got a good review. It's got the twin cylinder, 700, uh, 700cc, 500cc, 650. 650. We think those ones look like mobility scooters, don't they? Yeah. yeah. There is something attractive about them though. But the engine's not that beefy. It's like a 300cc engine. It doesn't look like a go-kart, doesn't it? No, a mobility scooter. Yeah. Like what that woman on Benny Dorm had. <laughs> what was her name? Madge. Him there, didn't Yeah. 
Madge's mobility mm -hmm. scooter. Bonjour. Bonjour, sir. There's our new tractor mower in that carton. I think he's trying to get it on his. No, he can't. He wants to put the engine at the back. Doesn't he? Does he? Yes. I don't know how he's going to do this because I want the engine up this end. That's where I need the engine. The other thing I can do is take this door out. Uh, make the overhang come over here. Have, have it coming this yeah, way. Yeah, that would be better. Further. Yeah, because the weight would be better over this way, wouldn't it? Just trying to turn, I think I was trying to turn the tractor around to put on the trailer. Yeah, it's gone on okay by the look of it. <laughs> but it's on the trailer, isn't it? They went on the trailer, they weren't very happy about it. They didn't really understand that I wanted the weight of the engine at the front of the trailer next to the car which is where you should always have all the weight on a trailer so this weight is shared by the car and the wheels they wanted to put the weight at the other end and that was just a recipe for accidents yeah what do we call that they call that um it's like a speed wobble isn't it what's it, yeah. what's it called jackknife it jackknifes otherwise let's have a look you can't wait so you can see the crate that it's sat in yeah i just hope that the forks didn't cause any damage underneath because it did seem a little bit... A bit what? I don't know. Have a look. Anyway, we're on our way home. We're going home. I think we decrate it on the trailer and drive it off. Okay. Don't you? Yeah, I, I do. That wasn't the tractor, that was something on the back seat. Yeah, it's just <laughs> half of the trailer falling apart. <laughs> So we've just come back from the Bricko and the tip. And you're having a lovely stew that you made yesterday. Not much of it left. No, it's, I'm having mine later. I was so hungry when I got back. My priority is to have a beer. And uh, Miss Anna there's got a big pint of beer or a litre of beer. Shandy. Shandy, IPA shandy. <laughs> Which is Indian Pale Ale, isn't it? IPA. Mm. Mm. And then we've got Brambles and his best new friend, Charlie. Hey, Charlie. Charlie is on scrounging duties <laughs> at the moment, so. Yeah. Nothing wrong with Charlie. We came back via another village, didn't we? Mm. Salon. Salon. Had a restaurant advertised, but it was closed, unfortunately. Mm. Yeah. But got our own homemade dinner anyway. Yes. It's just using up the remnants of food that he's eating, like leeks and things, and onions and beef and potatoes. And seriously, when we pulled up in the car, mm. opened the door, and a good 30 metres from the kitchen, you could smell it. Can you? It's in the slow cooker. It was yeah. absolutely mouth watering. <laughs> it's such a good job, honey. And this is the deck that um, some people in the last video, the fountain video, mentioned could possibly be recovered, but unfortunately, it's gone beyond cleaning. It's actually rotten. Um, it's uh, it's failed in a few places, and so part of that timber that we got just here um, is we bought all the fresh decking for this, and also new bearers underneath so i think we're going to need to do some work it's sagging you can see it's sagging but um we're wondering whether the joists are all in line as well i don't suspect they're true still so we might need to do a bit of fettling so this is going to be a next big project before the summer um it probably won't have the guardrails up but we need to get it done so we can use it don't we have you see my new dishwasher I've got a new dishwasher look <sighs> don't like that <laughs> it needs to go in the dishwasher and be boiled <laughs> uh. it's time to put the chickens to bed well not actually to bed they take themselves to bed but it's time to go and close the door
Okay, when I put them to bed, I'm just really making sure that they're all here. And then I close the door. We've got two Anconas. Beautiful girls. And then we've got Betty down there. The blonde one, the blonde silky. She's in the corner laying on her egg. And that's <coughs> Bella with her. Hello Bella. And then we've got Sally. And <laughs> the other Ancona there. And Evie is under there somewhere. And then we've got Hattie and Baby and the fourth Ancona. Beautiful creatures. Beautiful. Right, it's bedtime, you lot. Night night, chickens. Night night. <laughs>